on the create tab in the queries group click on query design add the table orders add the fields order id order date due date and ship date current date is 4-7-2022 let us find all the orders which are placed in the current week right click in the criteria row of the order date field and select zoom enter this expression date part function returns a specific part of a given date here is syntax by default the week starts on sunday and ends on monday so current week is april 3rd to april 9th when you pass ww as interval it returns the week number of the order date this is compared to the week number of the current date returned by date function year is compared using the year function when both are true that record is returned run the query orders placed between april 3rd to april 9th are returned if sunday is not the first day of the week you can use the optional first day of week argument this argument specifies which day you want to count as the first day of the week enter 1 in this argument to make the first day sunday 2 for monday 3 for tuesday and so on for example if the week starts on monday current week is april 4th to april 10th enter 2 as the third argument in the date part function run the query orders placed between april 4th to april 10th are returned to return orders placed in previous week use this expression multiply the year of order date by 53 and add the week number of the order date to get the total number of weeks from year 1 multiply the year of current date by 53 and add the week number of the current date which gives the current week subtract 1 to get the previous week compare both the values if it is true that record is returned run the query orders placed in the previous week march 27th to april 2nd are returned to get orders to be shipped in following week use this expression same expression as previous week but instead of subtracting one add one to the current week run the query the query returns orders to be shipped between april 10th and april 16th to get orders placed in the current month use this expression compare the year of order date and current year and month of order date and current month run the query the query returns orders placed in current month april 2022 to get orders placed in the previous month use this expression multiply the year of order date by 12 and add the month of order date compare it to current year multiplied by 12 plus current month minus 1 pass m as the interval argument to get the month run the query the query returns orders placed in previous month march for orders where due date is in the next month use the same formula but instead of subtracting one add one query returns orders where due date is next month may 2022 to get orders placed in the current quarter use this expression compare the year of order date and current year and quarter of order date and current quarter pass q as the interval argument to get the quarter run the query the query returns orders placed in current quarter april to june 2022 to get orders placed in the previous quarter use this expression multiply the year of order date by 4 and add the quarter of order date compare it to current year multiplied by 4 plus current quarter minus 1 run the query 
the query returns orders placed in previous quarter jan to march 2022 for orders where due date in the next quarter use the same formula but instead of subtracting one add one run the query orders where due date is in july august and september are returned if you like this video please subscribe to our channel